just had a pretty good little rain shower here at Fort Clark Springs, Texas, and I'm checking my patio to see if there's any roof leaks, and I don't see anything water on the patio, so I guess we're okay there, and there's no leaks coming down here, so we don't have any leaks out here on the patio, and uh, yeah, I, I wanted to see how the water was going to flow, and what it's doing is it's flowing that way to that ditch, surprisingly, which is good flowing away from the house yeah so that's good good yeah you can see where it goes right here and then over that way perfect and uh, what else uh i'll go inside and check for leaks too why well because the best time to check for water leaks is right after the rain shouldn't have any but you know doesn't hurt to look <clears throat> I mean, this is brand new to me. Close the door here. And uh, turn this light on. All right, look around. See what you do? You look around here. You're going to look around the edges. See if you see any moisture. And then you can look down on the floor. See if you see anything running out there. And right now knock on wood uh, I don't see a thing so I believe we have a high and dry uh, spot good my bedroom this is not the master bedroom this was actually the smaller of the two bedrooms and it's the farthest from the uh, bathroom, but it's also, it's just got that big window there, and I just like the heck out of that for some reason. I, it just turns me on to be able to look out this big window uh, in the evenings when I'm listening to my audio book. I can see my RV out there. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Yeah, we'll leave that open a little bit. Yeah, the, the, uh, Temperature outside, of course, right now after a rain is extremely comfortable, but, you know, the air conditioner hadn't cut on at all since I got up this morning about 5.30, and it's, uh, what, right now, 9 o'clock right now, and it hadn't cut on yet. So, uh, let's go back here and check. But I don't see anything that indicates a leak, but, yeah, it's got a new metal roof. Well, new, and it's five years old. And uh, I don't see anything happening in here. Uh, you know, they completely remodeled this home uh, a few years ago. And I'll, I'll show you why. Because this is a 2000 and, let me see, six single wide mobile home. And I guarantee you they did not come with metal tubs okay that's metal okay why do i know this is a magnet okay you see this on this uh liner this is a magnet right in here okay does it stick yeah it does yeah so you know you know that this thing didn't come with a metal tub well it could have but i doubt it and then it's got this granite top here of course I'm, i think that's plastic but it's good stuff ah the man in the mirror uh was gonna go in here for a pity and uh yeah i don't see anything i don't see anything mainly on the floor because see you couldn't see i don't think you could see anything there but if there was a leak somewhere usually you'd be able to see it on the floor you know and knock on wood yeah this room here i just made the bed and there's a, a one of those floor vents for the AC under the bed, and I've got it turned off. And I got a few clothes in this closet here, and the uh, other closet in my bedroom back there. This is where the hot water he heater is right there. It's a 40 gallon electric, and uh, I just I just been leaving it on. I mean, I read about because you know, I was thinking about cutting it off and then cutting it on when I get ready to take a shower in the evening 
And I'm not too sure that that saves you uh, anything. <laughs> After I got to thinking about it. So we'll try it and see. Looks like my utility bill is probably going to run about $100 a month uh, based on what I use the first day, which is kind of a, I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Now I put this, uh, this right here, that's just, as you know, aluminum foil. But when the sun sets in the evening, it, it shines right through that window. And uh, so I just put that on there temporarily till old fall comes slipping in here. But I do like these windows, man. I like these big windows. You know, you got a little bit view, and sometimes I can look out the window there, and there'll be two or three deer out there, a fawn or whatever. And it's just, you know, it's just nice, you know. And so far, I haven't, seen, I haven't stepped in any water yet. And, for, and by default, that's becoming the sitting spot right there. <laughs> I put those pillows there because these things are really soft and you sink down in them and that's okay in a way but I don't want to sink that far so I put those pillows and I got another one back up over here but yeah that's my sitting spot I was sitting there looking at electric trikes the only downside of getting them to send me electric trike for a review it comes in a huge box and uh, you got to put some of it together you know is that bad oh I don't know uh, probably not that bad. I could, I can do it. Uh, do I want to? No. <laughs> I'm lazy, man. I am totally getting lazy in my old age. Let me check one more spot here. This is where a lot of the clothes are that I hardly ever wear. I got all these things here, and uh, I don't see anything up there. I don't see anything down here. So anyway, guys, we have inspected the home. Is that a you know the uh, this thing said th these are these are the filters for the air conditioner. But let me show you some. I don't know where in the hell they're supposed to go. You know, uh, it, the, the way they ha let me show you some. We, we'll just take a look at this together, and y'all can tell me what you think. But these the, what the, the way they had these filters on this air conditioner, I just know it ain't correct. You know what I mean? I know it. I don't know it's not correct. I just don't. It just didn't make sense to me. So hang on there. I'm gonna see if I can lift this thing off. This is this is it right. This is the return air for the AC. I'm gonna see if I can lift it off and make a big mess here. Let's see. I got it. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. Okay, see. Now what they now th this to me is where the, air, the filter should go on this thing somehow, All right, But the way they had it uh, was, uh, and this thing here, this is like the uh, the cooling coils. All right, but let me show you what they had. The way they had it set up was they had they had one of these on like this. I'll show you. Had one of these on each side like that. Had one on, one on this side and one on the other side. Now what the hell is that supposed to do? Huh? I don't think it does anything. But that's what they had. But I ordered some filters to fit in here. Okay? And uh, I'm sure that's where it goes. Okay? I'm sure that's where it goes. I may have to have somebody come check this air conditioner out. May have to replace that. This will probably be my first big expense right here. Is the air conditioner thing? Do you see this right here? There's an inch of water in there. My question is, why ain't draining out? There is a drain, and it's right here. But well, I, to see, there's a drain right there where my finger is. Woo, woo, woo. Right here. There's a drain, but the water's not up to it. You know what I mean? But no, it's open. It's not blocked. I checked that. So I guess, heck, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. But anyway, so that's the air conditioner deal, along with uh, checking for leaks, and I don't think we got any. So anyway, guys, from my new home in Fort Clark Springs, Texas, isn't that nice? <laughs> I just love this place. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get it going here. If I do have to do anything to the air conditioner, you know, I thought about going with a mini split. And uh, 
But the problem with that, if, and it may not be a problem, is you got three rooms, basically. You got this big room right here with the kitchen and living area, and then you've got a bedroom back there and a bedroom behind me. And I'm not sure uh, how all that would work. Now, if I can just get, uh, if I can just get a high efficiency, uh, you know, heat, heat and cool, what do you, uh, what do they call them, heat pump thing? We'll see. I, I, I'll work it all out. But anyway, enough said. I'm, I'm way ahead of myself. But having said that, guys, from the first rain since I've been here, uh, yeah, and it's it's okay. Let me turn this light off and I'll end this video. Anyway, guys, from Fort Clark Springs on our first rain, and I showed you my air conditioner and the vents. I don't, I, they had two of those just laying against there. What the hell is that? Huh? You ever heard of that crap? I never did. I mean, they had one here and then one on this side over here. Now, what the hell is that supposed to do? I'll tell you what it does. Nothing. N-O-T-I-N. And then I thought, well, maybe together they would would fit there. No, that ain't going to work either. So, uh, anyway. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. Stand guard the door of your mind. Use the Amazon link. Help me pay for a new air conditioner. <laughs> I don't know that I need one yet. Anyway, we're getting into fall, so I might be able to postpone it till next spring or summer. And uh, But yeah, because I'm just going to use, for heat, I'm just going to use those electric heaters. I got two more in the RV I'll bring in. Put one in the bedroom and one in the bathroom. And with that, that's all we're going to have, I think. So, enjoy your life, enjoy your day, drink plenty of water, and do whatever the hell you got to do. Bye. <laughs>